Man, okay, so, like, first off, January movies aren't completely doomed, it seems like. And second, last year when I said, or actually, the first movie that I reviewed that was on my list of, like, most anticipated movies, I hated, which was Glass. This year, that didn't happen to me. Like, am I actually going to have, like, a good 2020? Like, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> The Gentleman. So The Gentleman is probably now one of my favorite gangster movies of all time. It's directed by Guy Ritchie, stars Matthew McConaughey and Charlie Hunnam, amongst various other people, including Colin Farrell. But uh, mainly, Charlie Hunnam's character, Ray, is just trying to enjoy a nice evening at home when some scumbag cretin named Fletcher is like, hey, by the way, you know, I've been following you around. I got a lot of dirt on you guys. I'm going to try to strong arm you into doing some things that you might want to do. You and your boss, Matthew McConaughey, kind of have to play to my fiddle. And so the, basically the entire movie is you finding out what Fletcher knows and how Ray is going to deal with it. Matthew McConaughey's character is like the number one distributor of marijuana. And I don't know if it's the entire UK, but well, not the entire UK, but like the entirety of England, but definitely in London. And uh, it's honestly like one of my favorite types of portrayals of gangsters because everybody's got a suit and tie nobody sags nobody you know pops their gun all the time just still tough it's just a bunch of people that have respect for each other understand what they're doing are calm all the time and can command authority and respect without threatening people well of course they threaten people but it's not like oh i'm gonna come shoot your block up it's like hey okay this is my territory step off or i'll kill you it's that kind of thing. Like, it's it's like 1920s crime, not 21st century crime. And I really appreciate that. And every once in a while, it's easy to forget that Matthew McConaughey is not just a meme. He's actually a quite capable actor. Charlie Hunnam, I mean, ever since I saw Crimson Peak, I've liked him. Even though that King Arthur film that he did with Guy Ritchie wasn't very good. But you know what? This, this is both of their redeeming film. So, it's okay. Now, I don't know for a fact that this is the most, like you know, original premise in all of cinema. It's definitely not the most original, you know, presentation because it's all, it's not exactly in medias res, but it's like most of the story takes place before the first scene because the first scene is the aftermath of most of the story. So it's like, well, I guess it is kind of immediate. I can't spoil anything, but it's like, it doesn't exactly take place in order, I should say. And actually that helps you try to figure out the what the mystery is because of course there's a big mystery you try to figure that out while the movie's going and honestly i was so close i feel like i was like one clue off from figuring it all out before it got revealed and i, I was a little disappointed in myself you know what that happens sometimes we're not always we're not always apt but everybody gives a really captivating performance in this movie especially colin farrell because i've liked him in every movie i've seen him in daredevil uh phone booth Fright Night, uh, Fantastic Beasts, they're not all good movies, but he's definitely good in all of his movies. He's one hes one of those actors that, like, it seems like his agent hates him, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to sabotage you because I wanted to be the actor, so I'm going to put you in all these shitty movies. And he's just like, you know what, they may be shitty, but I'm going to be memorable. So I'm looking forward to the Batman, partially because Robert Pattinson, mostly because Colin Farrell. That's, that's how that's working out for me. I don't know about you guys. But that's where I'm at right now. But now I can put Batman in my tags. I win. Another thing I really liked about this movie is like the way that they all talk to each other. Like they're using terminology and like key phrases that you don't really understand. But it's clear that they understand it. And it's like, it's how they talk around the subject of like, oh, drug dealing or whatever. It's like, oh, it's good to see that you have a good, like a nice fashion sense. Like, oh, well, this is in season right now, blah, blah, blah. Like... All these code terms where you know what they're talking about, but it's just cool to see how it's like they they figure out a way to do business without being so open and frank about the situation. And that's that's the kind of thing that I enjoy seeing because everybody's professional. Everybody is professional. Everybody's smart. But it's like there's somebody smarter and there's always somebody with, you know, more loyal men. So it's like, oh, I'm going to do this. But it's like, well, my guy's going to do that. And I'm going to go behind your back and do this. And it's just like, ooh, everybody's double crossing each other. And it's like, oh, I want to see what happens. I'm so stupid. But I guess I shouldn't waste too much of your time, huh? 
Uh, the Gentleman is very well acted, well directed, well paced, well written. Uh, everything, I enjoyed everything about it. And uh, with all that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and say that The Gentleman's probably worth buying on Blu-ray. Maybe not because uh, you kind of get everything out of it from the first viewing, but I really enjoyed the performances, so I want to watch it again. So best case scenario, worth buying on Blu-ray. Worst case scenario, worth the price of admission. That's just how I feel about it. The Gentleman. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below. And as you give me, as always, if you want more videos from me, leave a like, subscribe, share this video around, and click on the screen. I just kind of want to talk about how cool it was that I caught that, because I just kind of went... <laughs>